Hey, hey, Sagittarius, intuitive soul coach here with your June 2022 full moon reading. This is a very special moon as it is in your sign, Sag, and this moon on the 14th of June is all about adventure, getting out of your comfort zone, having a little fun, taking a risk on yourself or a situation here, possibly even doing a little bit of travel or planning a new trip as well. So today we'll dive into the collective energy of Sagittarius and see what it is that you're celebrating, finishing up, accomplishing, or achieving around the full moon. We'll dive into your untapped spiritual gifts and greatest strengths. We'll get messages from spirit along with how you have grown, Sag, and lastly, action steps that you can take to continue on your journey. So just a friendly reminder, these are general readings. Please do take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading or even entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. And here you are showing up full moon in Sagittarius. So it doesn't surprise me here. Uh, this is about you seeing the bigger picture of a situation or many situations as well. This is about you rising above any obstacles, any challenges that you have going on in your life, Sagittarius, and really taking a big leap into a brand new direction here. Full moons are about releasing. They're about finishing up, completion, so you can move into a brand new beginning. So I do feel for a lot of you, you're seeing something for what it is and you're figuring out how to bring a little bit of excitement, adventure, and fun to your life. Now this could be a job, a career, a relationship. This is new goals that you're feeling excited to tackle here. Some of you are planning, again, a new trip or you may be actually taking a trip in the middle of the month here. But you're seeing the bigger picture and I feel like you're feeling more positive about a situation here. Now we also have Gemini energy, Capricorn and Pisces. Now you may have these placements in your chart, Sag. You may be dealing with others in your life who have these placements or you're just embodying the energy altogether. So right away we have speak your world into being. That may be what you are seeing the bigger picture of. You are working on law of attraction, manifesting, and there's something that you're going for. I really feel like there's no holding back any longer. Something that you want to manifest in your world. It could be a relationship, it could be a new job. A lot of you are entrepreneurs or business owners, and there may be something that you're launching around this full moon, even after the full moon here. But this is about self-talk, being kind to yourself, and yes, yeah, speaking your world into being. What is it that you want to manifest? What sort of abundance are you wanting to bring into your life? This is about aligning with those energies and making it happen. Instead of just letting it be that seed that you've planted in your mind, hoping for a change, there's finally action behind something here. Some of you could be partnering up with someone, that Gemini energy, or you may be looking at yourself from a higher perspective and saying, what do I need to do to accomplish this dream? What do I need to do to achieve this health goal? What do I need to commit to to have the kind of career or the kind of uh, business that I want? So you're definitely seeing things from a brand new perspective. I feel hanged man energy, something that you've been kind of waiting around or feeling a little bit stuck in. I feel like it's going to go full speed here. They're giving me hanged man and eight of wands. Uh, we have unleash your kindest self, Capricorn energy. This can be about you being very kind to yourself, patient with yourself because you've come a long way. I feel like other people are kind and patient to you as well. So I feel like your true authentic self is coming out. Uh, there may have been someone or a situation that at times it may have left you feeling a little bit bitter or hardened, but I feel like you're softening up here because they're just showing me melting. Uh, I feel like there's glaciers melting here. So I feel like this is your emotions or your energy that is uh, softening up to, to a situation or you may be feeling uh, more generous, more kind, more compassionate towards somebody that maybe doesn't even deserve that. But I feel like this is about you showing kindness and empathy regardless. 
And then lastly, we have honoring your feelings. Your feelings are legit. They are valuable. Sagittarius, whatever you have going on, you're honoring them. They're, you're honoring the good, the bad, the ugly, all of you. And I feel like other people are as well. There may be somebody showing up in the month of June that tells you exactly how they feel. And that may be what causes you to see something from a higher perspective. It could be a family member. It could be an employer, a boss. It could be your children or your parents. It could be a lover. But I feel like you're honoring your feelings and somebody is listening to your feelings as well. Now let's dive into your reading here and see what it is that you're celebrating around this full moon. What is it that you're either celebrating, accomplishing, uh, completing? Let's take a look and see what victories and rewards are coming in for you. I do see a lot of movement, a lot of change. What do we have here for Sagittarius? Okay, oh my gosh. Wow, we have uh, we have you walking away from something that's toxic to you here. We have the devil energy. We have the justice and we have the 10 of pentacles. So for some of you, it could have been uh, a pattern, a relationship. It could have been an addiction. For others of you, it's fear, obsessions. This devil energy is anything that tempts you to kind of veer off your course, your soul's path here. It doesn't mean that you're not on that path, but sometimes uh, sometimes we just take a back road or we take the road less traveled that could get us into trouble or stall our energy. And I feel like you're finally freeing yourself from a situation that was challenging or that was tempting. And now this is all about you reclaiming your power. And that's what you're celebrating because you have the justice card, bringing more balance back into a situation. There could have been a legal case, a court case. So they're showing me something with the, the legal system that may be showing up. Now it could have been about gaining equality, truth, and fairness. Now it could have even been a divorce. It could have been a settlement, child support. It could have been medical. Um, they're showing me real estate for some of you as well, but something is being settled, I feel, uh, in your favor. And it may have had to do with even an inheritance or a will, Sagittarius, because the Ten of Pentacles can be about bringing stability back to your family life, your home life. Now, the Ten of Pentacles can be about family drama or even debt. Some of you may have had to file bankruptcy, and that may be what I'm seeing, a brand new start. They're just showing me an end of a difficult time here is what's coming up. And you may have an actual court date or some sort of... Um, finalization around the 14th or there could be news or messages that come in around that time as well they're actually showing me the 14th and the 16th uh so the ten of pentacles you're clearing yourself away from a toxic situation there will be justice good karma uh coming your way or karma in general if it's something that uh is in your favor you i know i feel you'll know it on a soul level if somebody else needs to dish out uh, this karma towards them, I feel like they'll get it, whether in this lifetime or not. Uh, but I do feel that this is going to bring more stability to you uh, on a soul level. So really powerful stuff showing up right away for you. Uh, let's dive into your untapped spiritual gifts and greatest strengths. For some of you, they want me to back up here. For some of you, there may have been even a work situation that was toxic or a work dynamic uh, that felt unfair. Maybe you asked for a raise and you didn't receive it. Perhaps some of you have been applying and applying and applying for jobs or wanting a business to grow uh, that you want wanted to be long term here and something didn't pan out. I feel like you're going to see the higher picture of why something didn't work out because again, you have see the bigger picture, speak your world into being, unleashing your kind self and honoring the feelings if you're angry or if you're upset uh, at a person or a situation uh, I feel like honor those feelings know that they are legit and they can be valuable but don't sit in them is what I'm hearing here because you have big beautiful changes on the horizon so let's take a look at your untapped spiritual gifts and your greatest strength Sagittarius untapped nine of swords so this is untapped it's saying that some of you i feel may suffer from anxiety depression panic attacks okay because the nine of swords can feel like a million uh swords stabbing through us at times uh, especially our heart chakra but in this case it's all over some of you may even go through numbing okay tingling energy the nine of swords energy 
is all about obsessive thoughts, fears, worry, anxiety, even nightmares. Some of you may have sleep apnea is what I am sensing as well. Maybe you even have to wear the mask. Um, but this is untapped. So the good news is your spiritual gift is for you to release that anxiety, release that fear, release what holds you back here. This is saying here that there is a uh, aid, okay? So I feel like if you are on some sort of medication, I feel like you may be trying alter alternative ways to reduce the stress, the anxiety, the worry. Maybe you're taking St. John's wort. Maybe you're taking um, ashwagandha or even a mushroom complex. I feel like a lot of you are looking at alternative ways. This could be energy work. This could be shadow work. It could be therapy, counseling. So I do feel like you are diving in to healing something or some things that have caused, caused great anxiety, whatever that devil energy was for you. But this is good because even though it's untapped, even though you just started to tap into it, think of uh, like a tree, maple syrup, you start to tap into it and it doesn't all just immediately come out at once. There is work that needs to be done prior. And then once the flow comes, that's when you really get that beautiful uh, maple but then there's still a process that comes after that uh, for it to be, you know, uh, the kind of maple syrup that you, you know, want to put on your pancakes or your waffles. But the nine of swords energy says that you can tap into this and you can work and heal on your anxiety, your depression, feeling like an elephant is, is sitting on your chest here, Sagittarius. So some of you also possibly have... Um, they're showing me short, quick breaths. Again, please do seek medical professional guidance or see the disclaimer below as I'm not a um, licensed medical professional, but I am sensing that you are taking the steps required and needed to heal anything going on here in this heart area and even solar plexus. You're reclaiming your power and that is your spiritual gift. Now, your greatest strength is really beautiful. You have the star, is to heal, just as what we were talking about here, to heal from any of that energy here, heal from anxiety, worry, heartache. Um, some of you at times as well, you may have a lot of tension in your back. Now, this could be your upper back, your mid back, and your lower back as well, even though the swords are pointing in all areas of her chakras here. Um, but I feel like you are... Some of you are working on breathing exercises, meditation by clearing the mind, um, but there's also books. You can see books here in the in the space. It's almost uh, like you can't really see them unless you're really zoning in, but some of you may be uh, reading self-help books as well, or maybe you're writing one, but your greatest strength is to heal and help others heal as well. So Sagittarius, you have a lot of healing energy, but the star card is about inspiration, hope. This is saying that your dreams are going to come to fruition, so don't give up. This talks about positivity, peace, guidance, and inspiration. So there's a new sense of inspiration going forward in your life, and this is really powerful stuff. Whatever happened in the past here that felt, uh, that gave you a lot of anxiety, I feel like you're moving past that and finally heading towards your highest calling here. You're changing your life for the better. They're almost giving me that the judgment energy here. Now let's take a look, Sagittarius, and see what messages Spirit has for you. They're giving me the name right now. Give me that one more time, please. Malik. Malik. If that is your name, Malik, or if it's somebody that you are dealing with, or maybe it's a nickname, please take it as it resonates. Malik. All right, we have Stand Your Ground. We have Cleanse. And what else do we have from Sagittarian Spiritual Team? What do we have here from Sag's team? We have Animal Kingdom, beautiful. And one more here, please. What do we have for Sagittarius? We have Trust, okay. So strong, powerful messages coming through from your team here, and it makes complete sense uh, for me. I hope it does for you as well. But we have Standing Your Ground. This is about setting healthy boundaries with people that are in your life, but setting those boundaries for yourself as well. Standing your ground is an empowering, confidence-building action to take from time to time. 
Now is the moment when you need to stand your ground. You know you can do it, Sag, and you know that by doing so, you will be the victor. You absolutely will. It's time to bring a little more enjoyment, a little more excitement, a little more adventure into your life, but also a little more power. It's time to reclaim that power, and you're going to feel a sense of excitement standing in your power as well. And that may be hard for you to do is stand your ground, put your foot down at times. Next, we have cleanse. Your body, mind, and soul are urging you to take time out for a much needed cleansing. Just as you wash your car, clean the house, or tidy your office, your body also needs care and attention. That's why you have unleash your kindest self. It's time to do things for you. It says it's time for some spiritual, emotional, and physical cleansing. Now, some of you may be cleaning out uh, a space, an attic, a garage, an office, a bedroom. Some of you may just be focusing on an internal body cleanse. Maybe you are trying to eat healthier foods or you're going on some sort of fast juice cleanse or just eating more greens or eating more fruits or vegetables. It's very important for you to maintain a sense of well-being, especially around mid-June, but you're starting a fresh new beginning here. Again, the full moon is about completions, endings, release, so it's time for you to feel your best going into this new chapter of your life. Next, we have Animal Kingdom. Animals of all types are extraordinary creatures and miraculous gifts to us. They've been our spiritual companions since the dawn of time. At this moment, they have lessons to share with you that will open your heart and soul. So this is a really beautiful energy here. I'm actually seeing... Uh, I'm seeing a dog and a cat here, and you can see in this picture there's a dog, cat, horse, tortoise, snake, bird, so and even fish. I mean, you may be uh, outdoors more where you're doing something more with nature, more with animals. Maybe some of you work with animals, or you have these pets at home, okay, because they're just giving me a... I just heard a meow uh, as well. I'm feeling uh, somebody may have an orange cat, an orange cat. Um, but again, Animal Kingdom or even an orange dog uh, or almost like a golden or an orangish. Uh, but there's Animal Kingdom showing up quite strong. Uh, there could be even orange birds uh, that are showing up for you as well. But just orange is that second chakra energy. So you may be working with that second chakra more so in the month of June, which is all about trust. That second chakra is about trust. It's about relationships with yourself, with others, setting healthy boundaries. It's about intimacy, creativity, sexuality. So trust that not only will your needs be met here, but trust that life fully supports you and trust that you know what is in your highest good, that you know what is best for you, Sagittarius. While your logical mind is dictating a supposedly clear direction, your soul's inner guidance is urging you to follow an alternative path. The logical path may, may be one that you consider safe and more familiar, but you could be missing out on boundless opportunities and so much more. Exactly. That's what this moon is all about. This is about getting out of your comfort zone. Instead of taking you know, the road that, that's familiar or comfortable, it's time for you to veer off in a new direction. Spice things up a little bit because uh, you may have stunted some sort of growth wherever you're at. It may be time to turn a new leaf. Trust that you're supported and trust that this new direction is going to bring in a lot of happiness, a lot of excitement, and again, a lot of fun, I do feel for you. All right, beautiful messages from your guides. Now let's take a look here and see how you've grown, Sagittarius. How have you grown? You've grown to be more confident, more bold, more wise. Queen of Wands energy when she's not feeling at her best, she can be jealous, she can be catty, insecure, vengeful. She can come on strong. She can even feel egotistical at times. But when she works through those human traits, those human characteristics that at, at all times we can all take on a little characteristic or trait of. But when she's feeling powerful and when she reclaims that power, she feels confident, strong, attractive, bold, wise, creative, artsy. She's a wonderful entrepreneur, a wonderful people person, and a lot of people are attracted to her light, almost magnetized energy. And this is how I feel you've grown. You've grown from maybe that person who is insecure to a person who feels more confident with the decisions that they make for themselves. So this is some great stuff 
off here. You've definitely grown in big, beautiful ways, I see. And I feel like uh, you are inspiring others, Sagittarius, to live their best life. Because if you can get through it, anybody can get through it, is what I just heard. So again, some of you have been through a lot. And I feel like you have some very wise words that you may share with other people that can help them along their journey. So let's take a look, last but not least, action steps, Sagittarius, that you can take to continue growing on your soul's path. What action steps? We have Ascended Masters. We have Vacuum Away Fear. And we have Archangel Michael. Beautiful. So Archangel Michael is... A very special archangel who protects and guides. If you are asking for protection, if you're asking for boundaries to be set, if you're wanting to stand your ground, Archangel Michael is the perfect energy to come in and help you cut away any fear. It says here, you are working very closely with this powerful angel who's protecting and guiding you through this situation. So some of you may have asked the angels for help, and they're certainly here assisting you through a situation here. And for some of you, it is that judgment energy. It's that energy of, um, again, it could be a court case for some of you. Uh, not so much judgment, excuse me, justice energy. Now, the justice energy is about uh, legalities, it's bringing something to uh, the truth, to fairness, equality. People are going to see that you were right or you were maybe not treated fairly in a situation here. But I feel like Archangel Michael is helping you along your path. Next, we have Ascended Masters, powerful, loving, and wise spiritual teachers are watching over and guiding you. This is a really powerful energy here because this is not only just Buddha, Jesus, this could be Mother Mary. There's a lot of energies here. You may be calling in additional Ascended Masters to really help you grow, learn, and ascend, and you absolutely are Sagittarius. You're healing and growing more so than you realize. And last but not least, we have Vacuum Away Fear. It says, call upon Archangel Michael, which you have here, and Raphael to lift fear-based energy from you, your surroundings, this situation, and everyone involved. So what do I always say about fear, Sagittarius? False evidence appearing real. So I do feel like vacuum away fear of a situation here that may cause anxiety. Remember, that's your greatest untapped gift here is to release the fear. You're able to. If you're not able to by yourself at this time, call in a professional. Call in support, even if it's the angels, even if it's your spiritual team, or if there is a professional here on earth that can help you, absolutely have someone come in and help you through these fears limiting beliefs, anxiety, and obsessions because you're heading forward on a brand new journey that's going to bring a lot of happiness to your life. So Sagittarius, I hope this message resonates. If so, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. It certainly does help get the divine channeled messages out there to those that need it most. Feel free to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And also hit that notification bell if you'd like to be notified of future readings. And I am sending all of you wonderful souls tons and tons of love and light. Thank you so much for tuning in.